Hi mga ka-numbers! How are you all? Welcome back to Wang RV Channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wang RV Channel. And if you would like notifications and updates on all of my videos, please click the bell button. Are you ready for another lesson in math? Let's have adding like and unlike fractions. Remember that fraction is a part of a whole or part of a whole thing. And if you say like fractions, they are fractions that have the same denominators. And unlike fractions on the other side are fractions that do not have the same uh, denominators or they are having different denominators. I have an example of like fractions and then let's try to add them. So one half plus one half, remember? we have the same denominators. So the first step is that we just add the numerators and then we copy their denominators. So we just copy the denominator or uh, we can do this, one plus one will be two and then since they have the same denominators, we do not add them, we just copy. So which is uh, 2, we just now have 2. And then, um, if it is necessary, we have to reduce that to lowest term. And uh, to reduce that to lowest term, we just usually divide. So we can divide 2, divide by 2. Or, we think of a number that if we divide both of the numerator and denominator, it will give us an exact answer. So, 2 can be divided by 2, and then 2 can also be divided by 2. So remember that uh, when you are dividing um, a fraction to make it simple or simplest form, you have to divide it with a number that is the same for both numerator and denominator. So 2 divided by 2 will give us 1, and then 2 divided by 2 will give us also 1, which is also equal to 1. Get it? It's easy, right? And then uh, in algebra, usually you just have um, a variable and then we can like say x as your uh, variable to make it algebra. So 1x plus 1x. We just add also your uh, numerators and that will give us 2x and then we just copy the denominator which is 2. The same thing, we just reduce the total of this term by dividing both the numerator and denominator with the same number and that will give us 1x and that is the final answer when you are dealing with algebra. That's it. Easy, right? So, let's now have unlike fractions. Unlike fractions, as we have said, are fractions that have different denominators. So we can have an example as um, one half plus one fourth. All right, so since we have two and four, they are different numbers, they are different denominators. So we have to think of a way that we can make them the same. So our objective or our first step is to make them like fractions. All right, so make them like fractions. So how do we make them? This is through making one or both of them equivalent. Or think of a number that if you multiply one of the fraction or both of the fractions will uh, give you a fraction that has the same denominator as the other one. So, to make that clearer, I'm thinking of 2, and this is, because this is 4, I'm thinking, thinking of 2. How will I make 2 the same as 4, or equivalent to uh, a fraction that has 4 as its denominator? So, I can multiply 2 with 2 to make it 4, right? However, I will not just make it like multiply the denominator with 2. I have to multiply both of the numerator and denominator with that same number, which is 2 over 2 is equal to 1. 
and remember that if we are multiplying a number or a fraction with one it will not change its value so that is why we can multiply with a fraction that is equivalent to one so we multiply one times two that will give us two and then two times two will give us four so I now have two fourths and since I have one fourth here two fourths and one fourth are already like fractions they already have the same denominator so that is why I will just rewrite this two fourths plus one fourth now they have the same denominator I can now go along with adding the numerators so just like we did a while ago when we add the like fractions we add the numerators and then copy the denominator so 2 plus 1 is 3 and then I will just copy 4 easy right in algebra when they will give you that it's just something like with a variable example that is 2y and is 2 fourth y and that is 1 fourth y so the same thing you just add the numerator and then just don't forget the variable and then also copy the denominator and that will be your final answer algebra 3 3 fourths y that's it so I believe if you go along with me you had already understood the process and even if you are dealing with um, simple problems or problems in algebra if you know the basic you can do it and that's it next uh, video I will be discussing some other strategies on how to add uh, unlike fractions so see you then thank you for watching Bye and God bless.